John here. Electricians need to know. Electricians need to know how to turn off a main breaker. Now, there's a lot of main breakers. There's uh, in in commercial and industrial uh, applications. There's probably a lot of main breakers for sub panels. Uh, right now, I just want to talk about a residential main breaker. First of all, you go into the building or structure or the home. You make sure all the loads are turned off. You, you tell the customer, if, if anyone is there, uh, that you're, you're going to shut down uh, their service for a short time. Okay. And turn off the air conditioning, the, the furnace, the stove, uh, the microwave, all the computers, uh, all the big screens, you need to unload all those. And if you can unplug them, fine. Uh, that's fine too. If you can't, well, it's okay. As long as they're turned off, you're good. Okay, so ensure that all the, the breaker, or excuse me, ensure that all the loads are turned off. You go out to the panel, you open up the panel, and you stand to the side of the panel. You never stand in front of a breaker you're turning on or off. Okay, you start with the small breakers and you turn off the small breakers up to the larger breakers and strip that panel of all the breakers that are turned on. Then you go to the main breaker. Ensure that all the other breakers under it uh, or beside it uh, are turned off. So there's no load across that main breaker. Now you don't want to turn that main breaker on or off under load because a lot of times they'll never reset right. Okay, so use the palm of your hand. Now I've got a, a little 100 amp here. Uh, and that's not it. Oh, here we go, there's a little 100 amp. Uh, in a small residential, uh, it's usually a hundred amps, sometimes 125, sometimes a 200. So, but use the palm of your hand when you turn the breaker off. And turn it off really quickly. Um, let's let's uh, do that one more time. Palm of the hand and turn it off in a nice, smooth, fast motion, uh, a positive motion. Okay, now all those small breakers are turned off and you just turned off the main. All right, now the wires going into the main, they're big wires, you can see it's about the size of my little finger. The wires going into the main are still hot. They're fed through, uh, typically they're fed through a meter, a meter base. So the only way to disconnect the power from the breaker, the main breaker, is to remove the meter or have your power and light provider uh, turn off power. Now, most power and light companies will come out and turn off your main or undo the meter uh, so you can service the panel. Um, it's a free service and they usually respond within a few hours or you can make an appointment. Uh, but that's a job for your service provider. Now some electricians pull meters and put them back uh, and it's as long as they're a qualified electrician and they know what they're doing that's fine. Okay so uh, if you want to pull the main breaker and and only pull the main if you're going to replace the main. Some of these some of these main breakers haven't been reset in a long time so they've been hanging around for 30 40 years and some of them won't reset as long as you don't trip it there's no reason that you can't turn it on and off though so it, that should work fine okay so if you're replacing this have your service provider turn off the power or pull the meter okay and then you can replace this now when you replace this um, with another breaker, the the metal contacts in the breaker uh, need to be cleaned. They need to be cleaned with uh, this is a four thousand. Now I usually go to two thousand uh, grit sandpaper. Now these are just wipes. They just wipe the oxidation off very very lightly. 
the 2000 does a good job. You can see traces of oxidation on the end of that. Okay. And even if the breaker's new, you don't know how long it's been sitting around. A year or two? And that metal has oxidized a little bit. I mean, oxygen oxidizes metal. So if you can get that off of there, the, the 2000 works really, really good. And then I, I'll go over it with a four uh, just to smooth it out a little bit to ensure that I'm down, uh, down and smooth. Now, this doesn't reconfigure the contacts in any way, uh, unless you're really pushing hard. Now, this 2000 will cut uh, into the metal if you do, a, a, do an aggressive. Uh, and you don't want to do that. You just want to take the, uh, the oxidation off. Okay. Now, get some grease and polish the bus on the, on the, uh, in the panel. Um, we make a um, at buskit.com we make a little bus kit and this is an ox the oxidizer and it will deoxidize the bus and we also provide a little grease uh, in the kit um, to put a light coating of grease over it and what that does is uh, it takes the oxygen out of the connection when it goes on to the connection it doesn't force these contacts over a dry bus and it it the transition is nice and smooth and then it puddles and doesn't allow uh, the bus to oxidize uh, any more than it has and of course you've cleaned it off by then and the connection lasts a lot longer uh, there's no oxygen in the connection and through electrolysis the oxygen will penetrate into the contact surface and deteriorate it over time and that's why uh, 10 years 15 years uh, the oxidation uh, of a bus of a breaker gets into the metal and starts getting hot spots and cold spots and non-conductive spots and you have trouble okay so that's the way to turn off a main breaker and then you can have power and light restore the power and uh, then you turn it back on now when you go back on you want to put it on your palm of your hand and turn it on nice and quick because and make sure all the other little breakers are off you don't want any load on that breaker when it goes on or off Okay, uh, new breakers, sometimes they have to be reset before they, you can turn them on. So, and to reset a breaker, you just turn it off in the off position very hard until it clicks. And some of that, some of the mains, the 200 amp mains, take a lot of energy to get that done, to reset that breaker. But uh, that's why I say use the palm of your hand. Now, never stand in front of a breaker you're turning on and off. I have seen hundreds of electricians stand in front of a breaker and turn it off, not knowing what kind of a load is on it, not knowing if it's going to blow out of the cabinet at them or not. Uh, and I did save a young man's, um, probably his forehead, uh, when he was about to ready to turn on a 600 amp molded case, and I said, don't stand in front of that breaker, stand to the side. And I said, did you check it for grounds? He said, I checked it for grounds. And he did uh, check it for grounds, and it was grounded. And that's what he thought he needed, a grounded bus. But um, he found out very quickly that he wasn't thinking correctly. And sometimes you get twisted around like that. I mean, I, I do, especially at my age. So make sure there's nothing grounded out there if you have a meter. Uh, now this does good. This little amp probe, it, it tells you, it's not expensive. It tells you if there's any current on the breakers. Uh, and it does, can tell you if anything's grounded or not. It has an ohms rating also. Now if you want to check for power, make sure you use a Wiggy. A Wiggy checks power. Uh, it has low impedance, about three or 4,000 ohms per volt. So it doesn't pull a lot of juice, but it does pull enough that you won't be reading carbon arcs and things like that. So uh, when you turn this, when you put this on, turn the breaker on, then you can 
you can turn on uh, all the small loads and so forth but make sure that the main or the the service is put back together uh, power and light comes out put them puts the meter back in makes sure that you have power here and there again I would use a wiggy to make sure you have power here before you turn on all the small breakers or even before you turn on the main I, I like to make sure that uh, we have power here then I turn the main on and then I turn on all the small breakers so that's the process uh, and then you can have uh, the customer turn uh, their loads back on okay uh, clean the uh, clean the contacts of the breaker before it goes in you don't know how long it's been rolling around somebody's truck all right thanks for watching